Do you want to have more interesting, more engaging conversations without wasting your time, without getting bored, and without offending anyone? In this video, I'll be showing you how to unlock the power of connection and discover 10 proven techniques to have better conversations. Welcome to Crafting Creativity. I am the owner of Snowman Films, no Mitman. I'm a full-time creator from video production to podcasting to my clothing brand. I'm on a mission to empower your life and career by giving you actionable tips and tricks that will unlock your creative potential and help you become the best version of yourself. Now, before we dive in, stop, unclench your jaw, soften your forehead, relax your shoulders, breathe. Now, let's learn. I was watching the TED Talk by Celeste Headley and thought this would be incredible information for my audience. So let's dive into the 10 ways to have better conversations. One, don't multitask. Be present and in the moment with the person that you're talking to. Don't be half in and half out. Two, don't lecture. If you wanna just state your opinions without any other ideas being introduced, make content about it. <laughs> but a friendly conversation is not the place to do this. Instead, enter every conversation assuming that you have something to learn. That is where true listening comes from, a desire to learn. Bill Nye says, everyone you will ever meet know something that you don't. So try starting questions with who, what, where, how, and why to get better responses out of people. Four, go with the flow. It's okay to let thoughts or stories go when the conversation moves on to something else. Five, if you don't know, say you don't know. When you don't know and you say that you don't know, guess what it opens up? A learning opportunity. Six, don't compare your experience to theirs. Your experience is not the same as theirs and it will come off as narcissistic. Someone else's experience is not about you, so don't make it about you. Conversations are not a promotion opportunity. Seven, try not to repeat yourself. It gets boring fast. Eight, stay out of the weeds. Years, names, and dates are unimportant in a good story if you are struggling to remember them. People care about what you have in common and getting to know what you were about. Nine, listen. If your mouth is open, you aren't learning. It takes effort and energy to pay attention and be present. But if you can't do it, you aren't actually in a conversation. You are just two people shouting related sentences at each other, no better than most political or sports talk shows. Don't listen with the intent to reply, listen with the intent to understand. As Ted Lasso says, Be curious, not judgmental. I like that. 10. Be brief. Be like Ron Swanson. Any dog under 50 pounds is a cat and cats are pointless. And with that, let's move on to the question of the day. So, question of the day. How are you going to be a better conversationalist in your life? Comment with your answer. Thank you so much for watching. If you got value from this video, please consider subscribing and check out our brand new merch at snowmanfilms.shop.